ओके सो दिस इज टिल क्लास सेवन वी हैव कवर्ड द कंट्रोल ग्रुप्स मर्ज मॉड्यूल्स आई फ्रेम हैंडलिंग ओके डायनेमिक एक्सप्रेशन वी सो अबाउट द रैंडम फंक्शन रैंडम टेक्स्ट फंक्शन ओके सो टुडे वी विल कवर अबाउट द डेट टाइम फंक्शंस व्हाट वी हैव इन द टोस्का ओके हेलो हेलो सुमित सर सोमा इज नॉट रिसीविंग द कॉल सो आई थिंक शी वोंट बी एबल टू जॉइन टुडे नो प्रॉब्लम या so let's continue okay so this is like the date functions we need to cover and we we need to have this and uh, there are so many dates uh, date uh, format we have in the, in the different different applications okay that we need to cover and we need to provide the dates accordingly okay so this you can do using the date time function okay, okay. so uh, let's have one let's have it one application so we will going to perform this on uh, present is vehicle management you see there is a camper also okay you, here you will see the date uh, date of manufacturing the date uh, field we need to provide the field okay so let's quickly scan this first so are you managed to uh, create this component folder and everything for now yes yes but as of now we are using only test cases <laughs> test designs it not went to that much no no not way. test case design we see whatever we have covered here yes, yes. Uh, i am just expecting that yes from yes. you to cover modules and uh, test cases yes so we need to scan the inter vehicle data so let's go on screen we go select on screen okay this uh, date of manufacture we have this is a uh, uniquely identifiable yeah. by id okay yes. we are just getting this only yes. because of the date functions yes okay so let's how you will provide the date okay the first thing is you will going to provide the day by using the hard code value let's say it is showing it should be in the format of mmddyy okay mm -hmm. so you will going to provide in the mmddyyy only so how you will do let's say today is 07 okay and then there is 17th of july 2021 this is one way you are providing the date okay but this will only work when you are providing some date okay and it will be the particular date only for any of the test case even if the today's date will cross it will provide the this date only okay and this is showing us the correct date format okay the date format is correct by saying the right tick let's say if the date format is not correct it it is saying date must be a valid date ah uh, yes okay so this yes. is one way we we know we can provide one date so now you want to automate this okay how you will provide the today's date okay mm -hmm. then the date time functions come into the picture 
Okay. So we have the first and foremost function is as the date. Every functions start with the date. Okay. Uh, curly braces date and then uh, uh, curly braces close. Okay. So when we click anywhere else, it will highlight. It means we are using the correct format. And let's provide the date. Not I'm just executing it. It will provide some certain date. Okay. 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 So this is saying. Interval. So provided correct and it is saying the enter valid date. It is taking the format dd mm dot uh, like dot format dd dot mm dot 2021. Yes. Is, okay, so it is providing the date. So we know now how to get the two days date. Okay, no mm -hmm. matter what and when you are executing it. It will get the, it will get the two days date. So right. like this we have different functions. Okay. Date is for only for today's date only current uh, system. Current date. Current system, system date. date. Yes. yes, it takes the system date. Okay. okay. Like that we have the time function. Okay. Which okay. will take <coughs> the current time from the system. Okay. Okay. So see, I am using the function. I am using the buffers. Okay. And everything I'm using it. I cannot execute it right away. But when I, when I'm creating the script, I can translate the values. I, I showed it to you, yes. right? You, you can yes. translate. Yes. Yes. So you can also translate the time, date, functions, everything you are using here. Okay, so you can just translate the value and check what it will going to provide. So it is 11:13 a.m. You can see mm -hmm. my system time is the same 11:13. Yes. Okay, so with the time function, you can get the time. Like that, we have three more function as one is date time. Okay, so when you translate the date time function, it will give you the whole timestamp of the current time and with the date. So it is 2021, 7th, which is July, 17th July. Okay, this is my 11, 13 a.m. and 33 seconds. Okay, the whole timestamp of the current date, this particular thing gives us. Okay. So let's say let me translate it again. Last last value was 33. So now it is 1114 and mm -hmm. 0 02 second. Okay, so it is taking on the run time the current date time of a particular thing. So it is always getting the unique value. Okay, it is always generating the unique value by using the date time function. Right. So yes. where we can use this unique value? What do you think? Okay, in the applications where uh, the user uses when enrolling the data on some time. I mean, on that particular day. Yes, that's great. Okay, let's let's say you are enrolling enrolling the data. You are uh, registering. Okay, so mm -hmm. and let's say you are checking out with some order ID you want to create. You can also create using the date timestamp. You can manipulate it, right? Yes. So and also we we saw. We were using while filling the registration form. We were using this email address and we are putting always the new email address. Yes. Okay. Either we can use time. Okay. But time will repeat. Time can repeat after 24 hours. It will repeat. Okay. So this can be yes. non unique value after some time. But date time is not repeating. OK, yes, so you yes. can use this function also after let's say some text. OK, you are providing and you are using the unique values. So okay. once we have used the dynamic expression as the random expression with the four values and five values, something like that here. Okay. So you can also use the date time function here, which is also unique. Random values and unique values on every second. Yes, right. So this is one function and now we have two more function as first is month first. Okay. 
which will give you the value of the first date of the current month. Okay, let's say this is July. It will give you the first of July. Yes. Okay, always. Mm -hmm. Like this, if you're working on any month, we have month last. It will give you the value of the last of the month. Okay, which is 31st. It can be 30 sometime, it can be 31st. Okay, let's say you want to execute this using the last date of the particular month. Mm. Okay, so use the month last. So it will give you the 30, 30th of the month and 31st when it has a 31st of month. Okay, so Tosca get it automatically from the time we have, time and date function we have in the system. Okay. Okay. So this is this is our basic date time functions we have. Now we need to manipulate everything. Okay. So let's say I want to manipulate my date. Mm. I'm using this date just to putting the dates. Okay. It is showing me and translating the value as 17th of July and 2021. So from where it is taking this particular format, we need to check that. OK. So it is taking the format from the projects settings. In the T box, you see the dynamic temporal expression. Okay. In okay. the settings T box, dynamic temporal expression, you will see the format what it is using. Okay. So here we have th six type of format. Okay. okay. One is target date format, target date time format, which I showed you like the, for the date time what it should use. Target time format for the time I showed you, like the hours and minutes it is showing. Okay, then this this is the Tosca date format, Tosca date time format, and Tosca time format. It is showing. What we have seen just now is a Tosca date format. No. 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 D what dot we are... mm dot y y means after translating the value, it is displaying as a dots. No? Yes, it is displaying as dots, which yeah. is taking as the target date format. Okay. What date format I need to put it on the target. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say right now we have the format as mm -hmm. DD YY YY. This is my format I want. Okay. okay, so let's close this. And execute the step. Directly. Not putting the date or what? Sir, we don't have option in Tosca. Like, if already is there, na data can we have a clear option? I mean, before that, we need to write a test case for clear option, na, for clearing that old data and date and new this mm -hmm. mentioned date. No, no. We can either refresh it. Okay, we can either refresh our the page. Okay, because if the application is not having the clear data, then how mm. you can perform it using the automation? Yes, and on top of that, the clear function will uh, work on all the fields. It will not work on particular fields. What are you saying? Like, uh, see, uh, just now we had a one date uh, in one format like 17.1.2021. Mm -hmm. The next time we are testing with another format. No? So yes. By mistake, they did not clear my data in my application. I have triggered the, I mean, I have executed my test case. 
So in that yes. case, uh, it will draw an error that date valid is in invalid format. Again, I need to check by putting my date and then uh, valid or not. Mm -hmm. Only that process I need to follow. No? Or the, is there any option to clear the date and the same test case can we execute? Yes, that's that's what I used and I'm, I'm just want to check if this is working on this particular application or not. Okay. So it is not clearing the date. OK, we mm -hmm. have one function as clear. Yes, okay. okay, but it is not clearing the values here on my particular date time format. I have executed it, but it is not working. Mm -hmm. OK, you can also but check we have that uh, option in our Tosca. What you're saying? I mean, we have that option in our Tosca. Right now it is not working. You're saying, sir? Yes, yes. So let's say what we can perform using, let's say, uh, let's say our keyboard operation. Just a second. I'm getting a call. Yeah. Sorry, so this is not clearing it. Actually, we have some keyboard functions and we have we have the clear uh, uh, clear as a keyboard key. OK, that only performs using this particular thing. OK, let's say if you want to uh, use you are using the backspace for clearing this, right? So I think we have the backspace also. This you see. So once it will backspace a particular thing. So you see that it is 2021. So it is 202 only. Okay. OK, let's say if you want to provide uh, multiple times of uh, backspace, backspace, let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 times. So you need to provide the 9 times here. OK, 9 times uh, backspace only? Yes. I mean, like that. Um. Okay. So after this, again, we need to give uh, command as uh, dates. Then it will yes, enter yes. Date. yes, yes. So mostly what, what happens, see, I'm, if I'm providing the new date, okay, mm -hmm. it usually overrides this date. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it is not happening here. But some most of the application overrides the date, so you can directly provide the new date instead mm -hmm. of the old date. Let us Let me show you. We have an... Uh, Global QA. So whatever you want to test, OK, you can use this site. OK, date picker, let's say this is my date picker. Mm -hmm. OK, let's just scan this. It I think it is it has a property of overriding the date. <coughs> it also depends on the application as well, sir. the property. Okay. Everything depends. Everything depends on the application. Okay. Okay. It it always differs from application to application. Mm. Like I showed you the iframes and everything. Okay. Right now we don't have iframes, but yes. I recently got a project where everything is an iframe. Okay. I Every think. single element is coming under the iframe. Okay. Where oh. I need to use the iframe and uh, manipulate the things accordingly. Okay. So that's why I showed you. 
like if something occurred to you like the i frames is a very common development method okay let's use this also okay this is a good time format we need to check if Okay, so you want to put the date here. Mm. Which is coming in MMDD by the same format. Mm. Okay, so let's clear the date. Let's select the another date and Can see. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is how this is uh, the date is differing here and date is differing there. Yes. It is not taking the overriding of date. It is taking it. Yes. So you see the date picker here, OK? Yes. So let's say it is coming and. Uh, how it will go? Hmm. We need to check. Let's say you want to click somewhere else. Or you are putting the date. You want to click on the start date first. Yeah. So in this case, what you will do whenever you are putting any date, OK, and this date picker is coming. Mm. But you don't want this date picker to, uh, but you want this to disappear after putting the date and it is disappearing after clicking on the select date. OK, sorry. Okay. So we, we can select and we can get it as a label. When mm. I scan it, it will come as a label. So after putting the date, you can click here. Hmm. So okay. this is how you can perform the operations, right? What yes. you think? No, when we are placing the cursor on the screen, uh, date uh, calendar will appear. When we we to put turn the cursor back to select date, it will it should disappear. Yes, it should disappear after clicking on any other else. Any other else. Okay. So we will definitely follow this. This is a good date picker. We can perform many things. OK, like uh, you can choose the data later on what we when we cover the advanced topic of this. So let's say I want to select the date in September. OK, I want to click here on the date picker and then I need to select. Mm, yes. OK, this also we will perform it using this date picker. OK, okay we will see it. OK, so Recently I got a challenge uh, of the date picking is you need to select a date from the available dates first available dates from the date picker. OK, let's say you want to book a uh, you want to book a particular appointment. OK. And okay. Uh, it is it is not coming on the current month. Let's say it is coming on the third month. You are getting okay. the appointment in the third month. Third okay, month. any date can be the appointment date. Okay, let's say in the third month also. Let's say this is the third month. These dates are booked and 16th is available. Mm. Okay. So you need to go to the you need to click on the months until and unless your first available date is coming. And then you need to select that. This is the challenge. OK, means uh, booking a slot in some. Yes, booking a slot. OK, from the available date from the date picker. Available dates. Okay. Yes, so hmm. you just think how you can perform just logic. If you if you can think the logic. Just theoretically not using the Tosca. Hmm. How you will perform it? OK, we will discuss in the next class. Yes, yes. OK.
so this is the date i am able to provide it okay i uh, using the date format here in the project and settings okay but mm. let's say i have created my uh, particular test case and i want you to execute my test case okay i am on leave and i want you to execute my test case on your system mm. where you have not set your date as per my date format mm. okay so what will going to happen uh, i mean in project uh, the system i mean mo the date model will be different and different which is compared to your system yes oh, we can one thing we can change there in the settings so if you will change it let's say you are using the ddmm yy for your project mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but this project is using the mm dd yy yy Okay, then how you will do it? Okay. So um, what you what you do for the global settings for the system system defined settings? We will define in the settings uh, what model the application the application is having that we will set it like DD MM or MM DD. no so you will not set it in the in the settings you cannot change the settings every time you are using your test case so what you will do you will use the configuration parameter as i show as i told you this this is a system defined setting you can you can set any settings using the configuration parameter right yes so let's open the settings okay this is my setting as tosca date format okay let's put it same as previous one don't change it sorry so this is the one and i am cancelling this instead of this i am using the configuration parameter to set the values okay okay so what was our setting date. is date no not date it is target date format okay this is target date format i need to set and what was the format the uh, dd mm yy or mm dd mm dd yy Why, 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 why? So now, how you are defining this MMDD? Why, why? How it is like the small, the capital and everything? You can see here. Okay, I have already put it here. So for the days, you will use the small small D. Okay. okay. For the work days, you will use the small W. for the months you will use a capital m for the years you will use a small y like this for the 12 hour clock you will use a small h mm -hmm. for uh, 24 hour clock you will use a capital okay. h and this is minutes seconds and milliseconds okay so this you need to follow for by providing the this particular date format right so if you provide the dd in capital it will not it will not convert your date when you provide it in the d capital mm -hmm. d okay so let's see i want to change this format what i will see in the translate date this is taking it as a text 
Optimist. As a DD only. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I go change in the configuration as a small d, it will take it as a date. Okay, okay so let's translate this. So this is coming as DD MMYY. Sorry, MMDDYY. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm not even changing my settings. This is linked to the configuration parameter on your test case. So let's say now my test case is if you want to execute, you will just follow and execute my test case, which will follow the configuration parameter as my as my global settings as target date format should be MMDD and YY. Mm -hmm. So as I said earlier in the first class, in the second class, I think whenever I have just showed you configuration parameter, whatever you want to set it globally as a setting, you need to follow the configuration yes. parameter to set up particular settings. Yes. You should not change your settings because this can impact your test cases when it will execute in, into the other machine. Okay. So this we need to follow. Okay, the target date okay. format. Okay. So this is converting my date into the MMDD by way. Let's change the date format into some other format and see if if it is converting the date. Let's say the Y Y Y Y M M and D D. Okay. So I'm not changing any, anything into my system. Okay. Okay, mm. it is giving me why, 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 date and month. Yes. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I am actually getting hiccups. Let me have oh, some water. Yes. yes.
हेलो यस सर या सॉरी सो दिस इज हाउ आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग द डेट ओके लाइक दिस आई विल प्रोवाइड द टाइम आल्सो एंड एवरीथिंग so now let's see let's say you want to provide the date you are into the current date and you want to provide some date later in the future or some date uh, previous in the past mm -hmm. okay yes. so how you will going to manage yeah asking interviews as well how you will pick the data with 3 uh, months back date Yes, I have yes, faced yes. this question. Okay, so good. Now you will never fail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this this is one function we need to define. Okay, just see, just see it as a format first. Okay, date. Okay. The three square braces open and close, and curly brace close. Okay, this is my date function. I need to follow. In the first square braces, this is my uh you can say it as current uh, date whatever you want to uh, set it as a date okay uh how should uh, i call this as a base date okay this is my base date and this is my offset okay and this is my target date target date format okay this you need to follow and with this you can manipulate any date anything okay into the tosca now okay so what is the base date today is my current date let's let's assume today is my current date and this is my base date so i will remove this i will not put anything here okay in the offset how i want to manipulate the date let's say i don't want to manipulate the date right now okay now in the target date format how you want date into any other format okay so we have already set the format as mmddyy yes okay and you have set it for your test case test case section okay so every test case will have to follow the particular settings from the configuration parameter okay yes. so let's say this situations comes to you where you need to provide the date in this format also and in this format also in the same test case it will take only this date right <clears throat> it will not take this date yes so to manipulate the date format on the run time on a particular test step we follow this particular format which is the target date format now let's say whatever i have set it into my settings it will override that also by setting at let's say my date format is dd mm so what is offset sir i i offset is how you want to manipulate the date i, I will tell you okay how you want to manipulate and how this is working okay? okay so this is the my target date format and i want this target date format for my current date nothing is changed i have not put anything into my two square braces here okay, okay. so let's translate the date now it is showing me the date even i have set a setting as the mmddyy it is saying the dd dot mm dot yyyy Okay. Okay. So, this is I'm overriding even my configuration parameter and my settings using this particular format, this function. Okay. Let's say now you want the three months date in the future from the current date. Okay. So how you will do? In the offset, you manipulate the date. Okay. okay. So let's say the three months. Okay, what we have for the months, the capital M. Capital M. Okay, and the days we have small d. Yes. So let's manipulate first with the three M, which I want to add it into the current date. So what I will use, 
प्लस इन टू द मिडिल दिस ब्रेसिस इन ऑफसेट प्लेस है इन द ऑफसेट प्लेस यस ओके यू सी द फॉर्मेट आई हैव पुट इट हियर द बेस रेट ऑफसेट एंड टारगेट डेट फॉर्मेट यस ओके यस सो यू सी नाउ लेट्स चेंज द फॉर्मेट टू एम एम डी डी एंड वाई 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 ओके सो नाउ लेट्स ट्रांसलेट द वैल्यू यू विल सी द डेट इज टेंथ ऑफ विच इज द्री मंथ्स अहेड फ्रॉम द टूडेज डेट सेवनटींथ ऑफ ऑक्टोबर ओके टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी ओके लेट से यू वॉन्ट टू एड द थ्री मंथ्स एंड टू डेज थ्री मंथ्स एंड टू डेज okay so how you will do you are adding the 3 months and 2 days this is how <clears throat> okay okay so when you translate this value you will see 19th of october okay okay let's say you want to subtract you want to do in the past let's say you for for getting the first of this particular month i know the current date okay i am explicitly doing this so i want minus 17 days back dated date back dated mm. okay so let's translate this value this is saying the 30th of june okay yes and if i want the first then i will translate this Okay, first of July. Getting it? Yes, yes. So this is how you can add and subtract any month, any day you want in your system. Yes. Okay, this you know the usage of this. Now you got the usage of this. So what yes. is the use of this? You tell me. Uh. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, because, uh, sir, we can call this as we are overriding our configurations which we set it in global, like in test case level. Yes. Parent, na uh, parent level. So mm -hmm. what we will call this a uh, dynamic uh, expressions? We will call. Yeah? Yes, yes. This is dynamic expression, dynamic that date expression. Okay. If we a uh, backdated date is used to, I mean, we will check our, our application is working as expected. Uh, when if. Uh, i mean there will be the cases to register two days back or because of the system issue mm -hmm. uh, we want to enroll that uh, application two days back on that cases we'll be using this back dated date and then yes uh, few let's reasons say, negative yes let's say you are working on a insurance domain okay yes. you cannot create the insurance for the two days date this is yes. my use case okay yes you have you to create always start with the financial year start date or like that whatever it will yes. always start in the future let's say you are creating your insurance today but the insurance active will take the 5 days to active the your insurance okay if you get like uh, like if you got the accident in between the 5 days insurance will company will not be able to provide you the claim yes okay because it will active only 5 days it yes. is mentioned in the use case mark. okay so how to put this active date from the two days date okay every time i am just uh, creating my particular insurance every day so yes. from that particular day i want the uh, uh, future days in let, let's say five days in future mm. from the active date so this is how you can manipulate the date you can add the date you can subtract the date and you can use it right so yes. let's use the future dates only usually we use the one day in the future actually in our insurance product we will be creating the profiles with the back dated date and we will be uh, process the commissions for the current date or in future date and we will check whether how much uh, incentive have have been paid so in that case uh, we can use this date for anything creating application anything any use case okay. now related yes. to your date you want to go in the past you want to go in the future whatever will be a use case 
you can manipulate the date. Yes. Okay, with the with respect to the current date. Current okay, date, yes. Remember that. We work on the base date, which we yes, are giving yes. on the offset. Which we give on the first bracket. Yes. Okay, the base date. So today, yes. uh, so by default, it is taking the base date as the current date. Current date. Yes. Okay. Let's say my base date is uh, not today's date. My base date is tomorrow's date. Okay, from tomorrow, I want three months into the particular date. Okay, let's say 20th. I want the three days from today. So what is the today's date is uh, the 17th? Tomorrow's date. 18th we should consider. Okay, that's so three let's, days. Yes, let's consider the 18th as 1 8. Okay, mm -hmm. and 0 7. 21. And 2021. So now this is my base date. Okay, now okay. let's execute mm -hmm. this. If it is translating the value or not. Okay, it is seeing the error. The value this cannot be interpreted as date according to this format. This. Now you got it. What it is? Now this is the Tosca date format. Okay. We have one target date format, which is this and Tosca date format, which is this. OK. So my Tosca date format is still DDMMYY. Hmm. The same way I have put it my target date format, I need to put the configuration as Tosca date format. Now you got the difference. Yes, Tosca date format. It should be in the camel case, Tosca date format. Format. Which is my DD MM. Bye bye. This is my Tosca date format. Mm. Okay, in the same way, I am just executing and translating the value. I am not changing anything. Okay, it is translating the value as 19th. 19th of July because I am adding one day from the 18th from tomorrow's date. Okay. okay. Now okay. let's say from the tomorrow's date, let's add three months. Previous date was giving us the 17th of October. Okay. Now taking this as a base rate, it is giving us the 18th of October. Okay. Okay. So this is how you can manipulate using the base date. OK, so it will we can check even it will not depend on our system data as well. We can check we can change that base data as well by this. Tools. Yes, yes, you can change your base date also. Mm. OK, base date can be anything. Let's say you want to do any transaction starting from the Next year of financial year next. OK, mm -hmm. which is the first of uh, April. Okay. OK, so you will consider the first April as your base date 2022 and like that you will manipulate the data of the date. OK, on the runtime. Runtime. This we will uh, use not common. I mean, whole application will move on the Sorry. this Tosca target date only. Right. Uh, what whatever we saying, do the manipulations or whatever we do the access that whole application in all the screens it will take uh, the base date as the Tosca date format date. Yes. OK, like what we are providing here is my target date. So whatever it can it is taking from the system. We don't know. OK, and we yes. don't have any work with that. Yes. So when we provided, when we explicitly provide some different format, it showed us the error. It is not taking this as a base date because okay. I know only one format, which is DD dot MM dot Y. Okay. Okay, then I need to change the Tosca date format also. So please consider the two days date in this format and translate the date. Taking this as a base date. In this format. Okay, okay so not only this format you can do like you know. You can provide the minutes and hours. OK, so you can directly provide it here by putting HH. And uh, hours and minutes. minutes. OK, 
and let's say seconds also for the seconds we have ss okay so then you translate this value okay it will not take the today's date just a second it is taking there's a 12 hour clock okay let's not take anything of this and translate the date in this format so you see it is taking as mmddyy 11th of 56 and 30 seconds. 30 seconds okay not even the seconds you can add the milliseconds using the fff okay okay so let's add this Okay, you got the milliseconds also. This is the milliseconds. This is the seconds and this is the. My time. Okay. Just okay. Asked, why in the same uh, target data? What is that target date format field, right? Target date format field only after uh, giving the date we are giving H yes. S M M Y in the square braces. Okay, you yes. can put anything. See. Yes using this okay you need to follow this if you want to check like hours colon minutes colon seconds in that format if yes. I want to see. so yeah so let me come into that so this is about the date okay yeah. you are manipulating the date in any way now yes okay yes so we will come to this later on this particular thing july 17th and like this okay, okay. <clears throat> so Let's cover the time format. OK, how you manipulate the time. This is my date. So the same way. Like the functions we have the time with the three square braces we have. OK. So now how this will work. This is my base time. This is my offset time and this is my target time. OK, let's say I want to add two hours from my current time. This is how it is taking the hours. Hello. Yes, sir. OK, this is how it is taking the hours. Now let's translate the value. <coughs> it is taking by default the 24 hour clock, which is okay. is from the two, uh, two, two, uh, today's time and current time. It is adding time and saying it is 1358. Yes, I don't want the format in the 24 hour clock. I want in the 12 hour clock. OK, so as I showed you. This is my 12 hour. This is my 24 hour. OK, capital H. Okay. Yes, so I will use a small h and put into the target format time. Here in the last bracket. OK. okay. So I'll put HN HHN MM. So let's translate this value. OK, it is one wow. o'clock and 59 seconds. 15 minutes. OK, let's see you want the seconds also. You can put the seconds. OK. OK. So this is how you are manipulating the time also using this format why it is not activated. Yeah. So I'm putting the time and date using this time and date format functions. OK, using the three brackets. One is the base time or date. Second is the offset. It can be anything. Two hours, three minutes, anything you can add. Let's say the two hours in three minutes. Yes. You want to add two hours in three minutes. <clears throat> you see, okay, it is 12 o'clock right now. It is two hours, which is the two o'clock and three minutes. Okay, the perfect timing. I got this <laughs> just to show you. Okay, so this is about the time format. How can how you can manipulate the time? OK, so now 
comes like the other long format the numeric format and some other format how this works okay <clears throat> So there is one more functions. Okay, the four functions we have the L date, day, month, and year. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Yes, tell me. Hello. Yeah. So there are more functions we have for the date. We let's say the L date. L day, month and year. Yes. So just to remember what it usually do. OK, we I just uh, this is not the defined way from the present is OK. What I use to remember L is as the long format. OK, yeah. long format of the date, long format of the day, month and year. How it is long format. Okay. So when you use L day. OK. It will give you the whole day of today's day as a Saturday. OK, the full value of the day. Got it okay. like this when you use the date, let's say L date. We'll translate the value. You will see the 17th of July 2021, the full day. OK, this is also coming DD. This is the full month and this is a full year. Nothing is shortcut. OK, OK, and L month and L year we have. <clears throat> Sorry, I just executed it. It is taking as July 1 and the full date. Okay. Okay, for the L month, it is taking is like this. We have L functions of year also, which will give you the full year. Okay, 2021. So, like this, we have the numeric format. Okay, this is the long format of the text. We got it. So we have the numeric format, which is which is not including the date. OK, date is always coming in the numeric format. It is not coming like uh, 17 and something like in the text. OK, that's why we don't have in the numeric value the date, but we have the day, month and year. OK, so whatever you want, like in the numeric value, the end denotes the numeric. And day. When you translate this, this will give you the 17th. OK, like this for month, it is 06 and year for 2021. N, N means sir. Uh, N is numeric. numeric format. Numeric format. OK, this is long format. OK, this is not defined. This is just to remember. OK, don't. Okay. Uh, when you whenever you will say some someone will say the end day, just write the, the format in the end day. You should get an idea and denotes for numeric mm -hmm. and this is how you can get the numeric values. Okay. okay. Now the A, I was not able to get it anything for the A. If you mm -hmm. get anything, please suggest me. Okay, the A day gives like the first three characters of the day. Okay, let's use the A day. Like Jan first. Huh? No, no, just the day. Just the day. Okay, it is SAT for the Saturday. Huh, J and Jan is J N for a month. Mm. Okay, J U L. Mm. Okay, now you got it. Yes. Uh, how, how to get the dates according to the A day and A month also, and everything is is just in front of us. Okay. Now, now create a date format which will give the value in this format. OK, I want to provide the value. 
the full july long okay. date yes uh, long month ah uh, long month sorry yes long month and uh, i mean l day means uh, 0102 like that it will take sir or uh, one two only i mean numeric will take a uh, dates like first second 17 like that now or l day will behavior like ld the long uh, the date will be the uh, uh, 17 only for the l and n both only. yes mm-hmm. same only yes yeah. because we that's why we don't have the date mm-hmm. in uh, n it is already okay. already numeric okay okay let's put it here in the notepad first mm. now you say it is let's say the current month which is the full date okay which is l month long month okay this is my long month and yes. space now this is my l, l date or n date anything we can use okay now now. this and the l year okay yeah Okay, and then we have the time. let's say the time, current time. Also, you can have it. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's say this is my twelve fix. This. Let's copy this. Put it here. Okay, so you are using the L month. Mm-hmm. That's why it is giving us. No, no, why it is giving us this thing? L date we are using. In July. Okay, we are using the L date. Okay, we need to use only data. Huh? Oh no, 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 not the date. No. For the today's date, I want. Okay. End date. Is... Okay, ha date na. Yes. So date will give me the full date. Okay. Like what it is translating. Mm. July two thousand and twenty one. So. Eighty days missing. How we want it? Can we go with end end days end days, sir? It's also same way with behavior, ah. Let's check end day. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you see the July seventeenth, okay, two thousand and twenty-one, with the twelve a.m. Okay, we are able to manipulate this date, and I am able to put it when I execute this. Okay. Okay. With this format. Okay. Okay. This I am able to do it. So this is how you can manipulate any date. You can provide any format. Okay, anything you can do with the dates now. Even if it is on the global level, you have the you are using the same date format. You can use it. Even if you are not using the same date format, you can change it using the date and time functions, detail functions of the date and time. Okay. Right. Yes. so yeah this you can do and uh, what we need to cover is uh, the explicit name and all in the data in class so this is it for today or you want me to cover the next topic also uh, okay sir uh, i mean today it's enough i mean i have another uh, thing also now 
after this class i need okay. to i mean my uh, one office work is there which i need to deliver by today itself okay okay the somya is also not here okay. she is she joined okay. okay you there oh that's great that's great so you got it so why you didn't uh, say like <laughs> Sir, I was listening, trying to understand. So that's why I was listening patiently, quietly. That's great. So what you have missed? Let me clear it again. Uh, actually, I joined by eleven eighteen. Uh, I think I missed first eighteen minutes of the class. So I was able means I was able to understand what you were doing, like date and time and L date and day. Everything so, I was trying to understand. You, you got this date time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understood. So you got this. Okay. Yes. Sir. So previously, with the date, okay, what we have covered, we have just covered the simple date format. Let's say this is, we are having the date. Okay, you got you got the configuration parameter thing. Uh, sir, starting guy, I have missed so. Okay. So what uh, what I have uh, told the Rohini is, let's say this. is the date i need to provide okay in this format let's say this i want to provide the date so right now the tosca is not using the format what on which i need to provide okay let's say i can provide the date using the simple date format sir are you sharing the screen your screen is not visible okay just a second Are you able to see now? Yes, sir. Now I can see. Yeah. So in the date, okay. Let's say this we are using. It is coming as DD MMYY or MMDD YY in this format. Okay. But what happened when we don't use? Let's let me delete the configuration parameter as this. Okay, when I translate this date format and put it into the step, okay, it is taking the date as DD MM YY, okay, which is the today's date dot MM dot YY, which is not a valid date according to this application, right? So I need to provide the dates in mm ddyy, which is zero seven seventeenth and two thousand and twenty one. Just a second. This format. Now this will say it is a correct format. You getting it? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is the correct format now, according to me. So how I will change it into the Tosca? I need to go to the project settings. T box dynamic temporal expression. Here you will see the target date format. Okay. So here you need to set your date. Format as MMDD five YY. Okay, and you got it about the Tosca eight format, right? When I showed it, yes. you were there. Yes. So this is the target date format where you need to set what it will going to target the particular date and which in which format it will going to target. Okay. So this is DDMM YY. That is why I am not able to put the date in the MMDD YY. So this I am able to set it. Using the configuration parameter on the test case level. Okay, the same settings, whatever I'm setting it. Okay, so this is the system defined settings, so I can set it using the configuration parameter with the same way it is defined there in the system, which is target date format. Okay, and which is I want it as mm dd. Bye bye, bye bye. Okay, so this MMDD YY, you can get it from here. 
Okay, how it denotes the small days for the days, work days, months, years, everything. H is for our H, the capital H is for the 24 hour clock and like this. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so you are setting the target date format right now. Okay, then you translate this particular value. This date MMDDYY. Not here. Just in the simple date of expression. When you translate the value, it will automatically give you in this format what we have set it in the configuration parameter. OK, so this will help you to run your you run your test cases on any environment. OK, it is not environment dependent now and the system dependent. Let's say I don't need to change the settings according to your test case. OK, it will automatically inherit when you put these test case into your system or any other system. OK, if you are using this configuration parameter as your settings. Hello. Yes, sir. OK, so this is how you can manipulate the date in a particular format using the settings like what is the target date format and system date format. OK, so you, you got this thing, right? The date manipulation. And time yes, function. Sir. OK. Yes, sir. So the base date is what the Tosca is taking as a date. OK, when I change it to MMDDYY, Tosca was saying this as an error. OK, it is not taking it as a date format. OK, then I change it to the. Configuration parameter as. Tosca date format. So this is my DDMM YY. OK, now it will take my the system data as in this format what I am providing it in the base date format. OK, I can provide the base date as DDMM YY. This is my base date. It can be anything. OK, let's say I want to manipulate this to two days. OK, it will translate the value and say the 22nd of July. In this format. OK, what I have defined it here. Independent of using the particular settings, what I have set it on the test case folder. OK, it is overriding the particular settings now. Getting it? Yes, sir. Yeah. So this we have covered in the start. The date format like this, we have the date, we have the time format. Okay. Time format will give you the current time, the current system time. Okay, this which is the 12 uh, 19. Like this, we have two more functions, uh, three more functions, date and time. OK, which will give you the current timestamp. OK, with the year, month, date, time and seconds. OK, which you can also provide it using some dynamic data and unique data. Let's say the order number, the transaction ID and anything. Like that we have the month first. OK. This is the month first. It is giving us the date of the first of every month. We are using it. OK, and the month last will give you. The last of a particular month. OK, which is 31st of July. OK. Yes. So this is how you are manipulating the whole dates. You are adding the dates. You already saw it. Just go through the video if you have missed anything and you have any queries, let me know. OK, okay thank you, sir. so and what about the previous uh, sessions? Uh, yes, sir, I had few queries, uh, sir. In uh, um, 
weights uh, uh, video lecture sir uh, you uh, were talking about implicit weight and explicit weight uh, under that in one of the uh, cases you were explaining about the login function and you had used exists equal to equal to true Yes. something like that sir so, uh, and wait on in the uh, under the i think input action so, so, yes sorry action mode so so what is the significance of exists equals to equals to true yeah so it is checking the element let's say the particular element is login we have in the page and it is checking the element is present there or not exist there or not we are verifying that okay so it is just a verification point to check if we have that particular element there in the screen or not sometimes it happens the application don't load all the elements okay because of the internet issue, issue and everything it can be anything so it don't exist for particular time it will load later on okay but i want my particular element to load on a certain time and it should exist on the page okay that i am uh, verifying it using the inner properties let's say dot exist like that we have the dot enabled okay if this particular thing let's say this element right now okay this is let's say this is disabled and i want to check it uh, check it uh, if this is enabled or disabled so you see sometimes after filling the form the whole form after all the validations comes and uh, we resolve the validations we see the next step will enable will going to enable only then when we are following the all validations of the particular form right yes sir. but until then it got disabled so we need to check let's say if the particular button is enabled or disabled so we can use the dot enabled like that we have dot visible also if the particular element is visible on the page or not okay we have some uh, let me show you this is my demo web shop okay i am having this particular desktop present on the screen okay but it is not visible right now while i am not hovering into it so when you check the desktop is dot visible is true or not it will fail this particular step it is not visible when you hover and check the desktop is visible then it will set it as true and it will pass the step you are getting my point yes sir so this is how you can use the visible inner text exit exist and uh, enabled as four of the property which you see in the value here Okay, enabled exist inner text and visible. So okay. that time, that time I was uh, uh, verifying if this exist is true, and using the action mode is verify. Okay, it means it is checking the particular element if this text box of putting the date is exist or not. If this is not exist, okay, what is the meaning of putting the date? Okay, so let's execute this. it will give you the result if this exist or not okay as it is the as it is here okay it is saying this particular thing exist verification was successful okay so like in the demo web shop when you go when you log in then only the logout will appear Okay, right now log logout is not here. Okay, when you log in, when you log in this user, then only logout appear and login will not appear. Okay, so you will verify in this registration page in the home page links. what you will verify if the login exist is true or not so what it should give us the result samya uh, sir it exists is it exist here uh, no sir only logout is existing 
Okay, but we are checking the login is exist true or not. Let's execute this. So you see it will fail saying. You are expecting this as true. But actual value is false. It is not here. OK, I am not making any changes now. I'm just logging out this user. Now executing the same test case. Now this got passed. Saying. The verification was successful. Expected value is true. An actual value is also true. It is there on the page. Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, so this is how you are using the exist as true and false to check the existence of a particular element. At that time. OK, sir. Uh, sir, one more question I had. Yes. Uh, sir, while doing hands on, uh, I was seeing that the uh, the particular modules and requirements and test cases and issues all were aligned in a uh, in a vertical format. And uh, from where to get components, I was not able to understand. I can, you can you share your screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One second. Yes, please share. Hello. Yes, sir. I have shared my screen, but it's taking time. Uh, Rohini, are you able to see her screen? No, sir. It is showing black, uh, black screen only. It is not coming. So uh, can you please stop sharing some and select like the screen one while sharing the screen? I think the, that will open the Applications. Yes, sir, I'll, I'll do that. So can you please open the application which you want to share? I think this is how you are sharing. I think that is why it is blank. You have not opened the application. No, sir, I've opened the application, but I don't know why it's not visible. Yes, yes, it is visible now. 
Okay, can you please give me the controls? I will show you. Is it is there any option of getting the control in Skype? You guys know. No, sir, I cannot see any option. Rohini, do you know which option is there? If... Because I usually don't use Skype. Okay. So I'm not able to see. Okay, no problem. Just right click on the test case. No, 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 on the tab, on the upper tab only. Yes. I am not able to see any options. OK, you will see the option as close all but this. OK, uh, so yes, it's there, close all but this. Yes, just click on this. And okay. close the test case also. OK, now go to the project on the ribbon. No, no, not this project on the ribbon. Top ribbon on the home page. Yeah. In the above scratch book. Oh, scratch book. Scratch book. So I'm not getting. Yes. Left, left, left. Yes. Project. project, you need to click on the project. OK, and uh, just right click on the Tosca one. OK, you see a create component folder. On the top of that gray, gray folder is there. Create. No, no, not in the option. You will see on the top of that. Because you are actually not sharing the fully a uh, screen. Uh, just just right click on the project. Okay. Again, no, no, not this. Wait. Yes. Uh, should I right click over here? Yes, right click. Okay. Okay. On the top of it, on this particular menu bar, on the top of it, you will see the gray colored option. Uh, Yes, component folder, create component folder. Gray color folder you can see. This one? I am not able to see that, so I am just yes, telling yes. you. Yes, I can see. Yeah. Okay, I this is component see. folder. Okay. Okay, okay, now just rename it with the anything, let's say the training. Sir. Okay, now right yes. click on that folder. Yes, click sir. on plus sign. Yes, sign. Yes, on that top of that. Yes, yes, top. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, now right click on the upper tab of this. Yes, no, no, no not on this. Just upper. No, not on this, not on this. On, on this? The window. Yes, yes. Close. And doc doc as a document, doc as tab or something like that. Okay, yes, now you yes, have yes. the component folder here. Now close this window. Close cover one. Close. Close this window. Bye. Okay, close or close all but this. Close. Just close this by. You can see in the right top corner. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So sure. now just right click on the training and create the folders of like the requirement folder and every other folder. Yes, sir. OK, so got it. Modules and yes, sir. OK, now create any folders and again go to the project. Project. Not yes. Project. No, no, no. The same on the top of the scratch. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK, 
So now click on the modules. Right or normal? They expand it. Yeah. Just right click on the standard modules. Okay. Yes, the same same way. Dock it on the tab by clicking on the plus. Right click on the window. Close. Uh, book is darkest tablet document or yes, close. Yes, darkest tablet document. Okay, now you have the standard modules directly. Just close this Tosca one. Okay, so you have the standard modules now. You have your training folder. Then you can start the scanning the modules and create the test case. Okay, okay, yes, okay. If you want to add another folder, you just right click on the training. Okay, go to the more tools, more option. Okay, you will see more options on the yes, dot 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 three dots. You will see. Okay, you will see these many folders also. I'm not, I'm just able to see the blank screen. So just create it from here. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, like sir. the test case design folder you can create and you can create uh, what else requirement folder. Yes, sir. yes. This, this. configuration requirement type requirements. No no no. no, 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 just just four folders modules, test case design, test case execution and requirement. OK. OK, this is requirement and you will have in the green the execution folder. And you can start your scanning from here. OK, okay now, now this is complete components you have. Yes, sir. OK. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can start working now. So how to save this from the left yes, side? Yes, yes. Control S also will work. OK, yes, sir. Sir, and if we, I was trying to just uh, in, like add one folder, but I was trying to delete, but I could not see any delete. So like whatever we create, we cannot delete it. We can. Sir, but what do you want to delete? Like, work. Only pressing the delete will also work. Yes. You can just press select and press delete. OK, 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 OK. OK, sir, I got it. OK, and just yes. scan the modules. Uh, scan everything what we have covered. OK, uh, yes. let's connect tomorrow 9 a.m. Fine for you guys. Yes. Sir. OK, so because uh, we will uh, free early. And I also need to travel tomorrow. OK, guys, then thank you so much. Thank Good you. day. See you tomorrow. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Sir.